everyone how are you guys doing today welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber and welcome to my channel if you're seeing me for the first time my name is stephanie and you're welcome to my channel now i know guys i know i have left you guys for weeks i've been mia for weeks and i really want to say i'm so sorry about that it wasn't really um intentional but at some point it became just me being i was just procrastinating doing the video and i was procrastinating because uh, okay let me explain let me really really be real with you guys and explain i'll be real and vulnerable okay so i did a video right after posting my last um, vlog which was my dad's birthday in august i did a video then and um after watching the video like watching it to see mistakes and watching to see how it was the audio blah 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 all that stuff i wasn't paying attention to anything in that video my eyes were fixated on my skin like i had really nasty breakouts here on my jawline because if you watched my previous vlog like the vlog before this you probably would have noticed it i had like sorry excuse me let me just adjust this hair okay so you probably would have seen that i was breaking out around my jawline so while watching that little video i did i was just looking at that all those breakouts i'm like where, where did these things come from like let's just say that acne took a toll on my self-confidence in that video so i was like i deleted it and i said i'll do another video where i will minimize head movement i was basically like this throughout video <laughs> And it's not possible. I can't stay in one place. <laughs> so I allowed that little, allowed those breakouts to get to me because I wasn't like, okay, so what am I doing that is making me to break out so much? So I had to sit and really like ask myself, okay, what have I been doing? And then I found out I was basically doing a lot of things that I wasn't supposed to be doing. Like I was eating bread. I was eating, and you know, bread has a lot of carbs inside it. Like each time I would do that thing, I always be like, it's just a little nibble here, just a little nibble here. It's just this small, small. It doesn't matter. It doesn't hold up to anything. I can get away with it. But of course, all those things amount up to something. And it was showing on my skin that, girl, you have to stop it right now. So that's exactly what happened. I stopped it, went back on track on my diet. I have a very restrictive diet, which I think I'm going to do a whole entire video talking about it because I feel like it's very informative. Um, yeah, I'm glucose sensitive. Is it glucose or glu gluten? Look at me. I'm gluten sensitive. I am not supposed to be eating a lot of like high carbs or a lot of carbs. I'm supposed to balance it out with proteins, vegetables, blah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I'm going to do a video about it in case you're curious, in case you want to like find out about this diet. It might be beneficial to you because God knows me. This diet, I love the fact that no one am I seeing results like every day with my energy levels, my skin, overall, everything. Like I feel like it's very beneficial. Of course, it's, you know, a diet that is approved by a doctor and all that stuff because i do strongly believe that anything medical anything health you should you know find out whether it is for you first don't just jump into anything because you heard i'm doing it you have to find out if it's for you so while that was correcting itself you know my skin was now popping at least this little breakout here is going anyway. <laughs> okay so why that was rectifying itself lord and behold something happened that just made me to be scared from one day to another like i was literally traumatized i'm not trying to be dramatic here i like this is bizarre. this is how i felt at that moment and even days after it and even remembering it now i was i was just like my heart was beating my oh god okay so let me tell you guys what happened i was hacked yes guys hacked you heard me right i don't know what happened i really don't know but let me explain what just went what just happened okay i'm not getting carried away let me tell this story the way it's, the way it's happened exactly how it happened so this is like sometime this month in september 
really forgotten the day in particular but I was getting ready to do my afternoon workouts. I was worried about where my spots were but I was just on my phone, I was on Instagram checking some things and then Instagram sent me a message basically saying somebody signed into my account in Phoenix in Abuja. I was like no. So from there I had to like secure my account, let them know that's not me and I don't know who has that login like who logged in do you get me i had to immediately change my password and do two-step authentication on my instagram account meanwhile this person was still trying to log in like instagram kept on telling me um somebody is trying to log into your account i'll show you guys a little prompt that instagram showed me so immediately i changed my password did the two-step authentication. that was good and fine then this person tried again using a samsung phone same Abuja to log into my Instagram account. Of course, because of the two-step um, authentication that I did, that wasn't possible. So that was a left. That was like the person gave up. But within two seconds or one minute or whatever, the person now moved over to from Instagram. The person moved over to Twitter. First of all, my Twitter account is so old. Last time, I can't remember the last time I used it. I don't even use it anymore. I deactivated it. The person reactivated the account and tried to sign in. I had to quickly download the app again, sign in, <laughs> do two-step authentication on that app. Quickly, quickly. Like, I was battling with this guy. I was battling. Sorry about that, guys. I was battling with this individual, this hacker in Abuja battling with him sorry about the background noise battling with him back to back like i was on my phone like going crazy <sighs> so i secured my twitter account he now the person now moved into facebook facebook that i've not used in over nine years the last time i used facebook was 2013 it's been long the person reactivated my account honestly i'm not really sure whether my facebook account is safe because I couldn't even sign in because I don't have any, like, I forgot everything about that app. I had to download the app and then I was stuck in trying to get that um, account back. So if you guys see any funny, if any funny thing going on with my Facebook account, I'll leave the name. If I can remember the name, I'll leave it there. Just report it because I'm pretty sure that account was hacked in. Like, I feel like it's safe, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Do you get me? So I want to report the account to be on the safe side, but I've been watching it. There's no suspicious behavior going on on it. Maybe I still have it. Like I use somebody else's account to check on the account. That makes sense. So th while this thing was going on, let me tell you guys what happened. While I was battling, you know, <laughs> doing two-step authentication or verification, whatever you want to call it, trying to think of passwords, trying to change, trying to do that. I got a call on my phone. And at first I didn't want to, I wanted to swipe and, you know, ignore this call and continue what I was doing, but I was done. And I said, okay, let me answer this call because it looked, the number looked very um, official. And I was, like, I was not like telling myself that if it's the hacker that is trying to call and thinking that they can try and ask me to send code to them, let me just be jolting them, you know, let's 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 both play around with each other <laughs> so i pick up because the number was zero one dash something something just lagos landline i picked it up lord and behold it's customer care from union bank right union, union bank yeah and i've opened i opened an account with them sometime this year so the person on the phone is like oh um, i'm calling from union bank this is union bank customer care i just want to let you know that union bank will never call or send an email to you to give your personal information to them so but first of all she was like am i speaking to she called my name like my full name it's like yes this is me then she now went into that oh union bank will never call you to get information blah 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 blah, blah, blah. and i'm like okay if this person is a if this person is for real okay let's see what they have to say and if this person is not if this person is just a professional hacker <laughs> professional scam artist no problem let's see, see what they have to say like there's nothing there we would talk us to just be playing with each other in this conversation so she's not like are you aware that you don't you have a inactive 
ATM card for your account that you opened for your account here in Union Bank. And I'm like, yeah, I'm very much aware that it's not um, active. I've not even picked it up from the bank. I wasn't around to pick it up. So I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so that means you're going to pick it up when you are around. I was like, yeah, sure. When I'm around, I'll go to the bank and pick it up. It's so like, okay, thank you for blah, 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 blah. You know how those customer care lines can be. They'll tell you, thank you for banking with us, blah, 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 blah. She ended the call. I quickly went to Google to look for customer care number for Union Bank. It's not the number that called me. Now tell me, I could be wrong. Like I, I'm willing to admit that I might be wrong, but at the same time, this is too suspicious. Have you ever, has the bank ever called any one of their customers to tell them they don't have like a active ATM card? I don't think so because I have one account that I know doesn't have an active ATM card at all. I'm even supposed to go there and tell them I don't want an ATM card anymore, that they should stop even taking the money to renew it. I really need to do that. So they don't care. They really do not care if you have an if your if your ATM card is active or not, or if it's with them all the time and then you don't go and pick it up. They don't care. They will still collect the money for the ATM every year that the ATM is expiring. They don't care if you're using it. They don't. But let me just let me know. Like it could be that you know maybe at that moment I was just paranoid. But I felt like nah, that wasn't legit. So that's what happened, guys now you would think that this hacker just gave up this hacker just left me that that was it for one day no guys no how i wish no 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 these guys remembered me the next day in the evening yet again trying to work out i was with my phone looking for like good music to pile up to with each other as in after after one one after the other to keep me motivated and do my afternoon workout these people tried my Google account. <laughs> That's the part where I laughed because like, I was like, <laughs> no, 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 you're not trying it here because the Google is secured. Like it's secured, it's not going anywhere. But the funniest thing is the day before, I literally changed the password to every single thing, every single app, social media app that I'm using including my google i had to rechange it use as in i had i did a lot of changes to the password yada 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 all that stuff now while i was doing that i forgot one app after the person tried using my google google account and obviously it didn't work the person moved on to the next social media app that he could think of i forgot about my snapchat because i don't use snapchat that often that's where the person tried to log in and then the person logged me out so i had to basically battle to get my instagram <laughs> no why am i saying instagram my snapchat sorry i had to battle to get my snapchat and of course that one wasn't a big deal i got it back um changed the password did two-step verification that one took a while to do because i kept saying this service is not available but I kept on doing it, kept on trying, 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 trying. Then finally, I did get the two-step um, authentication. Is it authentication or verification? Yeah, which found one. But guys, if you have not done this for any one of your social media accounts, <laughs> better go and do it though. Because me, I never thought that I would say that somebody tried to hack my account. Because what do you want to hack? The account is what? There's nothing marvelous or fabulous about my instagram account like i don't i just don't understand what but i guess they would hack it and then they'll try and like i don't even know try to go through your followers and try and make them give them money or something i don't know but all i know is that that thing left me traumatized like i didn't even want to use my phone for anything my husband was trying to use my email for this thing that we have in the house for our netflix and amazon prime right that's what they call it yeah so i was like no you're not using my email not after the scare that i went through come on use another email use your own <laughs> i was literally scared like anything concerning my email now i'm like <laughs> what no i had to go to um well not go not physically but basically i had to be on my phone for a while checking every single thing that i've signed up with my email because it's obvious the person got the person got my email it's from my email the person tried to do all these things so i had to go through each app changing every single thing and then i signed out of so many things at my 
um, my account my email my google account was assigned so i had to sign out of it now i have multiple <laughs> multiple google accounts <laughs> just to be on the same side like it was scary guys if you've ever had this experience before you know how it is that's when you realize that wow wow <laughs> all these social media <laughs> all these apps you have to pretty much be taking care of it like i never thought that i would little me with my little accounts my small accounts that somebody's eyes be on it like i did like i someone you have told me this thing like last month that's funny guess what they're gonna try and hack all your social media accounts i'll be like me little me like what do they want to get what what, what do they think they're going to see there but hmm, I, I can tell you the hackers, if they want to hack, they hack. They don't care. <laughs> ah, whether you think your account is little, whether you think your account is big or mighty, they're going to hack you if they want to hack you. And I pray nobody goes through this experience because trust me, whew, it was traumatizing. I might be very dramatic saying this traumatizing word. I'd be like, ah, it's very traumatizing, but it's just something that happened. My dear, it raised my heartbeat. My heart was beating. My stomach was boiling. Cortisol levels were rising. Ah, my stress hormones was was rising, my dear. Well, we were stressing. <laughs> so, guys, if you have not done your two-step audit, oh. <laughs> if you haven't done your two-step verification or is it authentication or whatever for your social media account, but that Russia good day now. Please do it <laughs> because these hackers are not they're, they're mean, they are crazy. So we are back, guys. Okay, so I've gotten like I've literally gotten past the fear. My skin is skinning, is doing what it's supposed to do, you know, it's trying as an acne prone girl, it's trying. And trust me, if you suffer from acne, you would know that sometimes this thing can take a tone to on how you see yourself and your image, and it can be frustrating also when you you know, okay, you've taken a setback. So someone like me, I know what causes the flare-up, I know what causes the inflammation, I know how to like track every single thing that I eat and I do, and I know how to like eliminate it, like walk through it and all that stuff so when you have it under your you think you have it under control you're trying to get yourself back to you know just breaking out for when you see your period you now have somebody that wants to ask you questions like why do you have pimple on your face why do you choose to have pimple on your face and that just leaves you uh, pissed off for hours <laughs> Do you know the funniest thing? That person might have just asked, like, tried to make conversation, or that person might have just asked out of concern. But really, do you think I don't know this thing is on my face? Like, do you think I don't know about it? Do you think I'm not trying to work to get it cleared off? Can you just mind your business? But no. Mm. And you always have to be polite and be like, eh. It's just happening. It's that time of the month. Is uh, the smile on your face when you were in my mind? I'm like, get the neck up, strangle you! <laughs> I'm like, get out! <laughs> well, guys, we're back. We're be we're doing better. We're really doing better, and I, I'm going to really give you guys sweet, superb. Is that a word? Sweet content soon. This is just an update. And I hope you guys are doing well, you're doing great. And please don't go out there and trying to be asking too many questions to someone who has acne. Please, those people's self-worth and self-confidence sometimes is very thin. You get me? Just tell them you look beautiful. Mm? Just tell them that. Like spread positivity. Don't always trying to make them think about that their pimples on their back. I don't know why I'm doing that, sorry. Talk, don't try to make them think and overthink about what's is going on with your face okay just tell them they're beautiful and that's the end okay so guys thank you for watching my video and my viewers i hope you're not just viewing and not subscribing please subscribe please please subscribe to my channel this channel needs to grow we need the support okay i promise you guys will definitely be seeing me more often i'll be uploading more often all right bringing you guys juicy 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 content okay so catch you in my next video bye
Oh, with it. Hold up. Hold up. I forgot to say this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like my video if you haven't already. You can go and watch my other videos while you're waiting for me to bring out more. And see you next time. Oh, share. <laughs> forgot that too share my videos when you can whether it's the old one whether it's this one share this thing because I feel like this video could also help people out like to if they haven't done two-step notification or you know they have acne and they're feeling like you know they're feeling depressed let them come out of that depression that they're going through you know you never know this video might be helpful to them okay so share my video and I'll see you in the next one Bye. Bye bye. Let's take a cute thumbnail. I look fine. <laughs>